What's up everyone? Today we are taking another look at a Masters of the Universe Classics figure. One of the, I would say, probably more sought after figures in the line. Definitely kind of a white whale for some because he can be very hard to get. And we are obviously talking about Ram Man today. This is um, one of the larger figures in the line, but large for kind of a different reason. So we'll go over the figure and you know, what he represents on the line and all that good stuff. And, you know, just to point out, we are getting a new Ram Man in the Super 7 Ultimates line, which hopefully we will have within the next 30 days, I'm thinking, by the by the current state of things. He is uh, the same figure, but he has an orange tunic instead of red. Uh, red was his color in the show. Orange is what the color was on the original Motu card back. So that's how they're differentiating the figure. They're giving him a different color scheme, so they're not just pumping out the exact same figure. So this guy, um, like I said, is a larger figure, and I'm going to demo that real quick. He's not exactly taller. It's more in the overall girth of the figure. So here is Motu Classics He-Man. And, and Rami here is, he's a little taller, just a, just like a hair, but he is humongous in comparison. Uh, I mean, you can't, you can still see a huge amount of the figure behind He-Man. So the large nature of the figure comes in with his girth. Now, at the time, uh, Ram Man was entirely new tooling. There was not a single piece on this guy that was ever used before. I'm not really sure that anything else has been since. Um, maybe the arms on the, the more recent Tuscador figure. I haven't really checked. But for the most part, this is a pretty unique figure in the line. Uh, he does have a few accessories, which we'll go over. But I'm going to go through the articulation and the paint and all that good stuff first. So articulation first, this guy is honestly rather limited. It comes down to sculpt and size and what they were able to do. Um, but he kind of looks really cool standing just still like this. So at the end of the day, it doesn't bother me too much. I might be making exceptions for this figure, but it's. It, I think he just looks very imposing standing still. Um, but we'll go over articulation real quick. So... Heads on a ball, can swivel around, it has limited up and down motion, and this is all because of that collar right here. The arms can go out, they can only go up so far, my joints are really tight still. They go up and down, you know, they spin around just fine, but they are hindered by the, the shoulder pads. We do have a bicep swivel, we have a single jointed elbow, and then the wrists, as usual, at this stage in the game, we're only on swivels, ro rotation. There is a waist rotation, he does have a crunch, but it's it's kind of, it's a little different. Um, you can see here he actually hinges, I don't know how I even describe it, this way. He doesn't hinge too much, though, because he has this armor. And the armor is not removable. It's it's glued onto the figure. Uh, but it hits back here at the lower back, and then at the front it hits right here at the, the stomach. He does not have much in the way of, you know, leg movement, because he's got the skirt-type piece that hangs down. His leg can kick forward and back, but again, not very far. He does not have a thigh swivel of any kind. He has rotation at the knee joint. He does have a knee joint to uh, to bend back, but again, mine, mine are still very, very tight. And then he has a boot cut, shin swivel, so he can rotate at the knee and at the boot, which is interesting. I'm not sure it's entirely necessary, but it, it is there. He has a hinge at the ankle. It goes further back than it goes forward, and there's there's no rocker. So, like I said, he is rather limited in terms of what he can do, but I think he's really meant more as, you know, a character that's just going to stand there. Now, as far as the sculpt goes, this is more, uh, more an interpretation of the vintage figure kind of updated. So, he... He's in the Filmation cartoon, he's in the 2000X cartoon. He is quite a bit different, though, uh, especially in the uh, in the Filmation cartoon. So we're going to start with the head here. And you can see that the, the Four Horsemen did a, a pretty good job kind of replicating the, the vintage card back look. So in the card back, he was squinting. He had his eyes closed, or whatever the hell he's doing here. Uh, in the cartoon, he doesn't look like that. He doesn't look like that in the vintage figure, and he doesn't look like that in the MYP, the 2000X cartoon. Um, so you can really see a huge difference in this head versus what he looks like in the cartoon. 
Uh, that said, I think he, I think it looks good. It's got a lot of sculpted detail. He looks really grizzled. Um, he looks kind of like a villain from Dick Tracy is what I think when I see this head. I don't know why, but that's what I get when I see his face for some reason. Cause he, he's an ugly looking guy. Um, but I like the face sculpt. It, it's good. It, it's, it's representative of that original Motu, uh, artwork. We've got his helmet that is sculpted on. It's not removable. We'll get to that in a second though, in terms of why. Uh, he's got his really cool armor with the chain sculpted in. He's got a spot to, to keep his axe on the back, all these rivets in here. There's like sculpted on rivets, and then there's uh, indentations along for the smaller ones. The gauntlets are sculpted on, and then we've got this tunic that has sculpted stitching, which is painted, sculpted wrinkles. We've got this soft kind of pliable belt here. It does, doesn't, not really pliable, the belt buckle, I guess, is what I should say, with the skull on it and the, uh, like the extra material coming out. We've got the skirt piece that has the... It's, it's a little rubbery. It tries to give you some, some give here, but it really doesn't, uh, which has kind of the ribbing on it. And then we've got his kind of Michelin Man style legs, which are all sculpted and they have kind of rivet details. And then there's, um, you know, a leather look to the boots with the kind of embroidery that's on there. So I think sculpt wise, he is really cool. Now, one of the things that kind of sticks out to this character though, is his size. And like I said, he is not tall, He's big. He's girthy. He's a he's a, just a big guy. He's not a tall guy. He's a big guy. And that kind of deviates from a number of things. So in the 2000X show, he was humongous. He was a really big character. His figure from that line is still smaller than this figure, but he was he was a big big character in that show. Now in the filmation line, he's like the the shortest guy in the in the Masters uh lineup. He's tiny. He's a kind of a short fat guy. But they they decided to make him this size for for kind of a compromise between all the various iterations of Ram Man, which I'm okay with. I think I don't think I would have appreciated a smaller one. I've seen some folks uh, make customs of this guy where they've shortened the legs, and it just looks off. So I think this, the idea they went with here is really good. It's just a uh, it's just a noticeable difference between the various iterations of Ram Man. Now moving on from sculpt to paint, there is a decent amount. It's not tons, he's not loaded with paint apps, but where he has it looks pretty decent. So we've got a, like a bit of a metallic wash on the armor and on the gauntlets. The stitching on the chest piece is painted, and then there is painted detail on the boots. The face is really where you're getting some. There's, there's shading in the skin tones, and then his eyebrows and his eyelashes are painted. We also have paint on the shoulders for his, uh, like the shoulder pads. And that, that's really, that's about it. There's not tons, like I said, but where he has it is in the places that actually needed it. So the rest is molded, uh, molded plastic, which I'm okay with. I think it fits this character in his kind of style, so I'm not upset about that. Now, moving on from the figure itself to his accessories. He has two, like I said. And the first one I'm going to go over is his weapon. He has this kind of classic style axe, uh, which the design is okay. It's got some notches cut in it from use. It's got a little paint detail on these rivets. The uh, handle is a different color, and he only holds it in his right hand, but I'm not sure if it's mine or in general, but mine doesn't really fit very well. Like, it fits just fine, but it spins freely to a point where, like, it doesn't really sit great. So it's going to fall based on, you know, gravity's pull, really. Uh, it's not a huge deal. It doesn't bother me too much, but it's kind of odd. I don't think it's supposed to be that loose. Usually they're way too tight, and in this case, I mean, I can just drop it right in which is convenient, but I don't take it out very often either. The other is this extra head. So I'm gonna pop his head off. And like I said, it's on a ball and it comes off really easily. And you can put the other head on. Now this is kind of a nod to the 2000X show because I don't believe you ever see his helmet off in the filmation show, but his helmet is off in the, in the MYP show. So it's the same face sculpt that's in there. It's just you see more of it. And then we've got the, the blonde hair on the side, and he's kind of got the skull cap with the rivets drilled into his head. Uh, I don't really care for this head. It just I just don't ever want anything other than this one. It's not a bad head. If you prefer the, the unhelmeted, then go for it. See, my thing just popped right out. But this is classic Ram Man to me. The only other thing I think they sh they maybe could have done in a, in exception to this guy is maybe give you a more filmation style head. But that would really just be this head with open eyes. And on this sculpt, I don't really think it would have worked. I think it would have looked kind of goofy. 
Um, so may, who knows? Maybe one day we will get a filmation style Ram Man from Super Seven, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. So you know, overall, this guy I don't think he is as important as people make him out to be in terms of the series. Um, he commands a very high price, and I don't really think it's too justified. But he is a good figure. Uh, he is, and I, you know, most of his his price comes in the fact that he is a core character, which is fine and all. But I'm really curious to see what happens once the Ultimates figure gets out, and there's a ton more Ram Man on the market. Not that they're going to be available for sale or anything, but whoever pre-ordered them, including this guy, is going to have another one. So his value is intrinsically kind of going to go down a bit, but then again, they are going to be separate figures, so who knows. Um, I do like the figure, though. I think he's just very limited. Like I said, he is he's not going to be put in any crazy action poses, and you're going to have him kind of stoically being there alongside your other masters, which is fine because he's a, an imposing-looking figure. Um, but I don't think he's worth the $100, $150 that he seems to command in a lot of places. But that's just my opinion. I also don't like spending tons and tons of money on figures just because they are a few years old. So that's neither here nor there, though. Uh, like I said, good figure, cool sculpt. I like what they did with him. I like the, the kind of mishmash of, of versions that they used to make this guy. So as always, it's, it's a good Four Horsemen product. You can't, you can't complain too much about this stuff. So that's going to do it for this review, everyone. As always, stay tuned for more. As you've noticed, there are tons of Motu reviews to do still. I'm, I don't know when I'm ever going to get done with them. So um, thanks for watching, as always. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know down in the comments, do you have this guy? Do you want this guy? Are you getting the Ultimates version? Anything else? And until next time.